Hey, this is Brett, and this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X is stock number 24J14. This is our very first 2024 Rubicon X package that we've gotten on the lot. I'm super excited to go around it today, show you all the options, what's new. This one does have the brand new power seats, first time ever power seats in a Wrangler. This one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. Gives you 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, show you all the options, check out the color, uh, check out the interior, those new seats, the new screen, and just show you everything that is new for the 2024. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Summit Auto. Click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. Starting off in the front here, you can see the Rubicon X package gives you the steel bumpers. Uh, you get the removable sides on there. This one also has the LED headlamps, new for 2024. All the trim levels are going to come standard with the LED headlamps, except the Sport and Sport S package. Um, so LED fog lamps, running lights, and headlights. And I will turn all those on at the end of the video, so stick around for that. It's not gonna be too far away. This one has the seven slotted grill, the new grill on the 2024. You can see what they did is they've made the grill shorter, the colored part, the painted part, and then the plastic here. It's pretty much the same size as the old grill, but they've kind of did a visual um, trick there to make it look thinner. Uh, so. Anyways, looks really good, and that is standard on all the trim levels as well, except the Sport, and the Sport S are gonna have the old grill. So the Rubicon X gives you the LT31570 R17 BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. These are KO2s, and there's the size right there. The new wheels, uh, these are beadlock capable, and then you get the new center cap there and they've got new designs for all the wheels. They're all available on Jeep's website to look at. Um, but anyways, all the center caps are different now. They used to say Jeep, now they have that Jeep logo. And this is what the tire looks like. The Rubicon X package is also gonna have a one inch uh, lift to it over the Rubicon, just the standard Rubicon between the tires and the suspension. I think we did it on the Extreme Recon package where it was about two inches taller than the normal Rubicon, but I haven't measured these yet. So anyways, uh, the other thing to know for 2024 is that you don't get an, ant an antenna anymore. Uh, instead, you get this trail rated badge. So now both sides have the trail rated badge and the antenna is in the windshield. Also new for 2024, all the windshields are gonna come with the Corning Gorilla Glass. You get the T50 on the doors. You can still take the doors off the same way that you always could. I actually did a demo on how to take those doors off. That's in the upper right hand press screen and in the description below. You get the rock rails on the side there, standard with the Rubicon package. Here is a copy of the original window sticker. I have no idea what happened to the original window sticker in this one, but here's a copy. Uh, 2024 Jeep Wrangler Ford Rubicon. You can see um, Hydro Blue Pro Coat, black interior that comes with the Napa leather seats, 3.6 Pentastar, eight-speed automatic transmission. Now everything on your left here is your standard equipment. Note the Dana M220 wide full floating rear axle. Uh, that is new for 2024 and what that does is that increases your towing capacity to 5,000 pounds. Um, so this one is capable of towing 5,000 pounds. Hydro Blue Pearl Coat is the first optional equipment which is 595 and then the customer preferred package 24Y is the Rubicon X package. That's a $12,500 option. Now this is everything it gives you though. So it gives you both the front and front driver and passenger seats that are leather and their power. So that's the first big thing. Remember that's a first for Wrangler. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, Alpine premium sound, connected trail and traffic services has the Uconnect 5 with the 12.5 or 12.3 inch touchscreen. 17 by 8 inch machine wheels with black pockets, body color Rubicon Highline flares, or the color match fenders, and then those big tires, the 4 to 1 Rock Track heavy duty full time four wheel drive system, blind spot and cross path detection, remote start, automatic high beam, park sense, integrated off road camera, rear window defrost, rear window wiper washer, 
and the front and rear steel bumpers. Also the hinge gate reinforcement by Mopar. It, the eight-speed automatic transmission is a $4,500 option. And this one does have the Sky One Touch power top, which is $3,795. And I will show you uh, that in just a little bit. I got it open right now. Uh, total MSRP on this one, $72,580. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives, in the description below is a link, and also in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to this vehicle on our website. Click that, and you can get all the rebates and incentives that you may qualify for on this particular Jeep. 3 or 36 bumper to bumper, 5 year 60 powertrain. There's the miles per gallon. I think they accurately uh, calculated these, depending, you know, taking into account the wheels and tires and everything because uh, those seem a little bit more realistic than uh, the videos I did before on the high tides. I think they were still at the 20s, but we did a test and it did not get 20s. So anyways, there is everything, and you can see there is a glimpse at that first power seat, so you can see the passenger seat is full power as well. The backrest, uh, it goes braces and lowers, and you also get the lumbar on, the, lumbar on, the, on there. And so what's kind of neat about these seats is you can see the leather is, is different. It looks a little bit different than the old leather that they use. This is a very thick leather. It feels like it's very thick and it's going to be really sturdy. And they had to do that because if it rains and you have the top open or the top off, you have to protect all the electronics inside of there so that they don't get wet and short out and stuff. So Jeep has confirmed that these are not going to be a problem if they get wet. So um, that's why I think the leather is a little bit different. You notice you get the flares on the fenders back here, the LED tail lamps. One interesting thing to note because this tire is so far back, they had to extend these uh, tail lights out and they give you these little extensions here. They're about an inch out. You get Ralph on there for righty, and on the left you get Louie, he's a bulldog. Anyways, uh, this one does have the towing package, so 5,000 pound capabilities on this one for towing. Receiver hitch, 4-pin and 7-pin wiring on there. You get the parking sensors back here as well as the reflectors, and there is that hinge gate reinforcement right there uh, for the bigger tire so that it doesn't flex. Here's a good look at that tread pattern. Back here, you get the case for the side quarter windows. Those come out really easy. There's two quick disconnects. I did a video t showing you how to take them out. Uh, if you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen, but this is the case for them. The hardest part is getting them in the case, actually. Uh, you get the Alpine premium subwoofer and storage under here, uh, bolt holders for your um, roof, windshield, and doors. And uh, we did a video if you want to see how to take your doors off or your, actually your hard top on a normal Wrangler that doesn't have the Sky One Touch. We did a video on that as well. That's in the description below. There's your JL badge. Uh, get wheelbase, overall length for the two door, four door, and water 40. These tops go down like so. And that shuts nice and solidly. You do get the heated power mirrors with the blind spot monitoring, enter and go system in this one. Uh, interior wise, you get the auto headlamps. This is a new badge for 2024 with the Gladiator and the Wrangler on there. Tilt telescopic steering wheel. The dashes are different this year. This is kind of like a synthetic wrap of some sort. It's almost like leather, but I'm not gonna say it's leather. Uh, maybe like a Gore-Tex material. Uh, power locks, power mirrors, you get the red stitching on the doors, and here's the power driver's seat. Side airbags on the seat, as well as the side airbags on the side curtain airbags. So, this is new for 2024 as well. Standard side curtain airbags on the Wranglers. Great job, Jeep. And as you can see, this seat does go up. Now, this, the whole seat goes up on this one. That's interesting. Oh, and it tilts, okay. So the back goes up and you can adjust it pretty much wherever you want it. So really nice, works easy. Back seats trimmed out just like the front seats. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit different leather than uh, what they had before. 
seats go down nice and flat. Those headrests can stay down for better visibility if nobody's riding back here. Back here, you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115-volt, 150-watt plug-in. Factory floor mats. Uh, they changed the map lights back here, as well as kind of the speaker configuration. It used to be just a big clump of map lights right in the center here, and now they have them for the individuals uh, back here. Child safety locks on the back doors. And we'll check out the instrument cluster and the radio real quick. This video is kind of getting long. I do apologize. A lot to go over. Brand new Wrangler. It's really got me back in the mood of getting a Wrangler again um, with all the upgrades and everything. 7-inch LCD display, dis digital speedometer. Comes with the heated leather wrap steering wheel. This leather is the same material as the seats. Um, it's really a soft touch leather when, you, when it's on the steering wheel. Um, but firm on the seats. Cruise control, adaptive cruise control, Bluetooth and information center controls, and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Here is the new Uconnect 5 12.3 inch radio. This is the standard radio across all the trim levels, except that some have nav and some do not have nav. This one does have the navigation system. There's Highway 41, um, and it's all run on Android, uh, Android Auto, so it's... Uh, a lot faster than the old radios. There's your home screen. You can do a split screen with your Sirius and or your radio and your nav. You can make that the main screen. There are all your different options for inputs, AM, FM, and Sirius, USBs, um, Alexa, and all that good stuff. You also get all your different apps on here. There's your media, comfort, nav, phone, your vehicle settings, off-road pages, which are pretty cool. We'll get to that in a second. System and other, going back to vehicle, you can check out. These are your, it'll go to your cameras, so you've got to have that on. There's your forward-facing camera, and those are did, um, dynamic grid lines. So as I turn those wheels, you can see that those grid lines change, and that's to give you an idea of where you're going to be going, especially nice if you're on a trail or something and you don't want to hit any rocks. Uh, so then there's your backup camera. You can see just how crystal clear those cameras are. And then back to the apps here, off-road pages, pitch and roll, latitude, longitude. You can go to those cameras again, accessory gauges, and then vehicle dynamics. Uh, if your sway bar, axle locker, if they're locked or not, a transfer case, and then steering angle, that changes as well as I turn that steering wheel. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that has changed for 2024, you get the vents underneath the radio now instead of on the sides. And this upper area is a little bit different as well. Down here, everything's the same uh, as far as controls go. Down here is your sway bar disconnect, off-road plus mode, front and rear lockers, or just the rear locker, and four auxiliary switches, which come with that tow package, eight-speed automatic transmission. There's your 4x4 shifter and your keyless entry with the remote start and flipper key. Really like these keys. Um, and they sit right there. So that's pretty cool. There's a good look at that dash. Get a really close up on that material there. It is stitched just like the Rubicon is stitched in the backrest. And the Sky One Touch is open, and you can see we got a nice open air feel, assistant SOS buttons, and then they call it the One Touch because you press it once, and the whole thing will close. Now these take about 20 seconds to close. And I think you can close these at pretty much any speed. Um, I don't think it matters how fast you're going. Get home link buttons there as well. So I'm going to turn on all the lights and we're going to turn the lights off in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they are. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you got a really good idea of the overall options, styling, uh, learn what's new for 2024. And uh, let me just turn the lights off and we'll do a final walk around here and we'll be all good to go. So there's a really good look at all those LED lights, uh, very bright, and I'm really glad Jeep has made those the standard because you can see just how bright they go um, in front of you. So definitely a nice safety feature, especially if you live in the country and there's deer and stuff, uh, wildlife in the road. You want to make sure that you're able to see everything 
and there are the LED tail lamps, they look fantastic as well, and the LED license plate lights as well. So that's the final uh, thing here that we had, and really appreciate you checking out the video. And if you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel, and uh, do videos like this just about each and every day. A lot of Wrangler videos on our channel, and uh, just really glad that I could get a video of this particular one. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and particularly Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. Over 8,000 videos and almost 500 Wrangler videos on that YouTube page. So go check us out there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon X in Hydro Blue Pro Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.